Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing tips for Sunday the 7th of January. Well, a quick recap on Saturday's performance. Well, for, you, for those of you that only follow the horses, it was a losing day. Uh, we had, was it Darnie that won at 9-1? to one. It beat, we actually got the forecast. It beat the one that I had in the um, the, the win bet as well. The Was it four of a kind? Four of a kind, four, four, two, something like that. Anyway, that one came second. We we got the forecast. I'm not going to claim any kind of profit because I, I didn't I didn't give the forecast a shout out. Maybe I ought to have done, but yeah. Anyway, so the first horse of Saturday was given an appalling ride. Uh, what was it? Nola something. Uh, the Carl Burke trained newcomer on in the National Flat Race on the All Weather at Newcastle. Wide throughout. Sometimes it's, it's not too bad a thing, but it was going, obviously going around the bends pretty wide. But this it's when it came push came to shove. Um, I think the horse hung slightly, but I just thought he thought he'd got the the race won, and um, I think it wasn't until he realised he was under pressure big time from one on the outside that he actually like got stuck into it. If he'd done that from the beginning when they turned in and like gradually got it to the front, I think would I think would have got a winner on his hands, but. We didn't, and it still wouldn't have been a profitable bet. But, um, yeah, it would have been a nice start. On the each way section, um, the nap of the day ran really well. I think, it, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to claim this pri uh, price, but I think it touched 20s. Scalloway Boy, Scalloway Bay. Um, it ran a decent race. Never really looked like not getting placed. Um, but then, obviously, with, with Darnay, it made £7 something. But then we had the over two and a half goals. For those of you that have the football, the over two and a half goals bet came up and that made, I think it was £32, uh, £33. So if you did, it was £40 return on the day from a stake of £20. I might be wrong with the, with the returns on the football. Anyway, it was a profitable day on the football. It wasn't 33 I think it was t low, uh, mid to low 20s. Whatever it was, anyway, it was a slightly profitable day. The football helped us out. Unfortunately, if you don't follow the football, you haven't won. But anyway, we soldier on to Sunday. I like the look of these selections, and uh, I'm not going to go too much into them, but I want to talk you through them. So I've been waffling. You've probably seen the selections already. But the first selection is, so what I'm going to do is, I haven't placed this bet yet. I am going to place an each way painting taking the prices, and each way painting without the prices, leaving it to SP. So the first selection is Philomelco at 5-1 to one in the 3.25 at Plumpton, paying four places instead of three. The second selection is Rose of Arcadia at 5-1 to one in the 2.50 at Plumpton, paying four places instead of three. This one you could say is probably the strongest of the day. It's Joe Tizard in the Sussex National. While well, his dad and himself have also had plenty of runners in the past in the Sussex National. They've also got Freddie Gingell, or Gingell, whatever you want to call it. It's Gingell if, if you're from up north. Freddie Gingell riding this horse. Well, Freddie Gingell is actually Joe Tizard's nephew, I believe. Freddie Gingell is the son of... Joe Tizard's sister. Unfortunately, his sister died, and um, yeah, so he's he's got the ride, and I just think it's got a good chance. It went to Cheltenham. I've tipped it that day. It ran okay. It came seventh. Nothing more than nothing, but it ran nothing more than okay. It then ran better last time out, and originally on its third, well, on its debut this seasonal debut, it actually ran. At, over hurdles, so I'm thinking that they were trying to protect his handicap mark to a certain degree over chasers, and I think it's probably it's, you'd have thought it's probably been aimed for this race, and I think it's got a decent chance, and the Tizard's likely to run it in this race, and finally a bit of a tricky race, but it's Charlie's choice at five to one in a five o'clock at Wolverhampton, paying four places instead of three. This horse, it wants a quick pace. It's a funny race because there's an awful lot of horses that stay on that want further. And this is kind of one of them, but he ran a cracker last time. 
It's got the same jockey on board, Callum Shepherd. He's riding well. If there's a fast pace, it will suit this horse. But bear in mind, it will also suit a couple of the other horses that are that are held up that want further. I think it's got an excellent chance. Get, provided it's not given a stinker of a ride, it's got every chance of getting a place, minimum. Um, David Simcock trains it. It has always stayed on over further as well, much further, but it did stay on over this trip last time. It was only beaten three lengths in a Class 5 race. This is a Class 6 race. So, um, yeah, I think I think we're struggling to, to kick it out of the places unless it's given a shocking ride. So they're the three selections. Um, I appreciate it if you've, if you've lasted this long. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.